does a non-calculator question look like? It'll look like very much the same. Solve for theta. Zero degrees less than theta, less than 360 degrees. But they tell you something like sine of theta equals negative one half. So if it's a non-calculator question, it means that the numbers come from one of your special triangles. We had two special triangles. We had the 45 degree one, where we had one, one, and root two. And we had the equilateral triangle, where we went two, two, one, one, 60 degrees, 60 degrees, and because this was cut in half, 30 degrees and 30 degrees. So on a non-calculator question like this, you would have to look at your special triangle and see, is the opposite over hypotenuse, because that's what sine is, ever one over two in one of those angles? Right? Here, I can get 1 over 2 in this one. For which angle, the 60 or the 30, would it be? The 30. So as a non-calculator one from our triangle, we would be able to tell that our reference angle is 30 degrees. But we need to solve for theta, not for the reference angle. Sine of theta is negative, according to your cat's rule. That happens in quadrant three and quadrant four, because sine is positive in quadrant two, and all of them are positive in quadrant one. Now, if you can do the next step in your head, perfect. If you can write out the answers in your head, perfect. If you would like to draw pictures, in quadrant three and quadrant four and label your reference angle. And then in purple, think about what's this angle? What's that angle? Fine, right? Eventually, you go, I think I can visualize this in my head. If it's in quadrant three, I would go 180 plus my reference angle. That one will be 210 degrees. If it's in quadrant four, all the way around is 360, too much, minus my reference angle of 30 is 330 degrees. So we can find our reference angle from our special triangles, and then use our cast rule to find the actual angle based on whether it's positive or negative. Okay? I'm going to do one more. Can I erase everything except for the special triangle? Um, solve for theta. And this time we are going to get Three tan theta minus root three is equal to zero. So first of all, as an equation, I want to get this by itself. So I'm going to move over the root three by adding root three to both sides, and then I'd be able to divide by three. Are you okay if I do that in one step? Move over the root three and then divide by three. We had a root three there. Now, I have a root three in this one. I do not have a root three in my other special triangle. So it's making me think it's going to be this triangle. It's either 60 degrees or 30 degrees. From the triangle, though, I would have tan of 60 degrees is root three over one, and tan of 30 degrees is one over root three. Are either of those equal to root 3 over 3? Which one? How do you know? The 31. Because what do you have to do if there's a square root on the bottom? You have to rationalize, right? 
and this would be equal to root 3 over 3. Oh. So it's going to be a reference angle of 30 degrees. Now that you have your reference angle of 30 degrees, according to the pass rule, where are we going to look for this one? Tan is positive. So we'll look in quadrant one where they're all positive and in quadrant three. So then solving for theta, well tan, quadrant one, if the reference angle is 30, the angle is 30. That's easy. In quadrant three, can you see you would go 180 plus your reference angle of 30? And you get 210 degrees. Okay. And now I have a handout for you for practicing these. The ones that are circled on this handout, you need to use your calculator. All of the other ones are non-calculated.